look so confused. Just trying to figure out how Uncle T, Gadere, and Kiduchu belong to the same animal group. Good question. It's because of their shared adaptations, the characteristics they've developed to survive in their environments. So which group of animals do I belong to? I know just the person who can help you figure that out. a lot about animal kingdoms. What's the difference between amphibians and reptiles? Amphibi, amphibia, ah, those ones with the wet skin, right? Like newts. Yeah, amphibians. They have soft, moist skin. Reptiles, like snakes and lizards, have dry, scaly skin. Kibena, thanks for helping us study, but this is hopeless. There's so many different animals and they're all so different. Why? Well, they have to be different so they can live in different environments. No, I meant why do we have to learn it? It's just too much. If you didn't know the differences between different animals, you might confuse me with Gadere. <laughs> but you're not an animal, Koba. Oh yes, I am. Humans are animals too. Uh, no, no way! Come, come on. on, that, that can't, can't be. be. Woo woo woo! Baraka, we have to study and do laundry, and you're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've helped Koba. You've proved humans are animals too. You see. We're different from other animals, just like they're different from each other. But you're still all part of the animal kingdom. Human or animal? Either way, you've got hands. Can you help us finish washing so that we've got more time to study? I don't have a test. Why should I waste my day washing your clothes? Barack! Barack! Not sure, but Baraka, you should go and help him get home. We'll stay here and finish our laundry and study. Sure, I'll take him. But what kind of animal is he? What kind of animal are you? <laughs> ah, fine. What's your name then? Louis. Louis? <laughs> Don't worry, Louis. Baraka will make sure you get home safely. Good luck, Louis. Take a deep breath. <sighs> now close your eyes and just think of home. I will make it back to your mother soon enough. That's better. Now you're nice and calm, huh? So where's your home? Not here. Uh-uh, oh, uh-uh. If only I knew what animal you were. Then I'd know where to take you. You live in the water. You're an awesome swimmer. Hmm, what could you be? I don't know. I'm just Louie. Ah, I've got an idea where to take you. Oh, what a cutie pie. But wait, is mom? 
I thought she'd be here. I mean, he's a fish, right? Doesn't look like any fish I've ever seen. Just throw him in. We'll see how he swims. I don't think this is my home. He can't swim in the running water! Help him! You! Thanks, guys! I guess it's not a fish after all. He certainly can't swim like you. Look at me! I'm swimming like a fish! Man, how do you guys swim so well? Yeah, it's all about the fins. We use our fins to go this way and that way. Woohoo! Let's use those fins to swim upstream. Swimming with the fins. Fishy has a fin. Swim against the flow. Woohoo! Let's go! But where are we going? But Louie, we need to find your mother. Uh-oh. But who is his mother? Yeah, Louie. What are you? I don't know. I'm just Louie. Hmm. hmm. Well, Fishy he's got a long a tail, fin. but no legs. Look at the way he wiggles. What could he be? I've got a friend with a long, long tail and no legs. She wiggles back and forth to move. Let's take him to her. There she is. That's her home. No one could live in there. How would they fit? They'll just get stuck. have long tails, no legs, and they wiggle back and forth. Just like you, Louis. What do you mean? He's got two legs. He's not a snake. Yeah, that's right. I've got legs. I'm not a snake. So what are you? I don't know. I'm just Louis. We're trying to find Louis's mother, but we don't know what kind of animal Louis is. Well, now he has two legs, so we know he's not a snake. What animal has two legs and no arms? I know. Follow me. I'll show you the way. I can't keep up. How do you do it? We snakes have adapted to move in tight spaces. See? No arms or legs to get in the way. You stay here, I'll go get them. See? I found friends with two legs and no arms. Birds! I don't think I'm a bird. I don't have wings. Wings? Oh my gosh! Do I have wings? What are these? Come on, fly with us! I can fly! Hooray! Woo fly with us, Louie! Let's fly! Whoa. Look at me, look at me! I can jump! Louie, come back! You can't survive outside of the water! Help me, let's get him back in the water! This is amazing! <laughs> jump, jump, jump! Louis! Louis! Come. come on! Come into the water with us! Come into the water with us! Louis! Come on! Come into the water with us! Oh, I've got him! Oof. Sometimes I wish I had arms and legs. You're really heavy, Louis. Our lightweight skeletons allow us to fly. But you're really not a bird because you don't have a light skeleton like us. Where are you 
you taking me? Drop him here. Oh, I'm so tired. Your lightweight bird skeleton must not be strong enough. You have a lightweight skeleton too. We're both birds. You're right. I'm tired. Oh. Oh. Really? He looks just fine to me. He doesn't need to be in the water. He can breathe out here and hop around on four legs just like me. You are clearly not a bird. What are you, Louis? I don't know. I'm just Louis. Hmm. He has four legs and a tail. He can live on land just like you. Is he a monkey? Monkey! He looks a lot like that Chura to me. You sure he's not a frog? Frog! Uh-huh. Ribbit, ribbit. That's right, I'm a frog. You do too, Louis. We are not tadpoles anymore. We are grown-up frogs. Huh? So you were just a baby frog. I would have just thought that baby frogs look like big frogs, but in diapers. <laughs> so you come out of an egg, which are laid under water, and you start like that, and then you get legs, and then you become frogs. It's called metamorphosis. <coughs> metamorphosis. We change from one form to another. That's how we've adapted to live on the land and in the water. We've adapted to live on land and in the water. To live on land and in the water. Ah, just like the canary has adapted those light hands and the tail to swing in the trees. And Mama and Daddy's chicks have wings and light skeletons. They have adapted to fly in the sky. A snake has adapted to slither with low arms or legs to go through tight spaces and underground. And our friends, the fish, have adapted fins that allow them to swim upstream and against the current. Us animals are all different. Each of us has special adaptations for the environment we live in. I live on both land and water. Power Bunga! <laughs> Hi guys, you're still studying? We started writing a song to help us remember what's special about each group of animals. But man, there are a lot of differences. Did you manage to get Louis home? Yes, and I learned quite a lot myself. What have you learned? Well, I learned about different types of animals like fish, snakes, birds, monkeys, and frogs. Louis became a frog. The animals are all different. They all help Louis find his home. Sounds like a good day. You learned a lot and helped a friend out too. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty accomplished. But I'm actually not finished yet. <laughs> guys, don't be so surprised. I'm going to help you finish this laundry while you guys finish studying. And I learned a lot about why animals are different. So I might even be able to help you with the song. Oh, oh thanks, thanks Mara. Mara. The birds up in the sky and chameleons on leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Welcome 
to the animal kingdom, animal kingdom. We have adaptations to live in different places. Some live on the land, others live deep in the sea. Let's sing and celebrate our animal diversity. The worms down underground, and the monkeys in the trees. The birds up in the sky, and chameleons on leaves. We are the fish. It's plain to see we have gills, which we use to breathe. We have shiny scales, but we don't have legs. If we want to have kids, we got to lay some eggs. Snakes, crocs, or lizards, we are all reptiles. We ain't fish, though our bodies are covered in scales. We lay eggs to have little ones. We get energy from lying in the sun. Welcome to the animal kingdom, animal kingdom. We have adaptations to live in different places. Some live on the land, others live deep in the sea. Let's sing and celebrate our animal diversity. The worms down underground, and the monkeys in the trees. The birds up in the sky, and chameleons on leaves. Us birds have feathers, they are beautiful things. We fly up in the sky using our wings. We lay eggs to have babies, not just for cooking. You can tell we're birds just by looking. We are the mammals, you may be surprised. Even humans are one of our kind. Give birth to babies and make milk to feed them. We all have our place in our animal kingdom. Welcome to the animal kingdom, animal kingdom. We have adaptations to live in different places. Some live on the land, others live deep in the sea. Let's sing and celebrate our animal diversity. The worms down underground, and the monkeys in the trees. The birds up in the sky, and chameleons on leaves. Amphibians like us, we truly amaze. During our lives our bodies change. Our skin is soft and smooth as can be. And near the water is where we like to be. Folks start our lives inside the pond. Then move up to the land, where we hop on and on. Welcome to the animal kingdom, animal kingdom. We have adaptations to live in different places. Some live on the land, others live deep in the sea. Let's sing and celebrate our animal diversity. The worms down underground, and the monkeys in the trees. The birds up in the sky, and chameleons on leaves. Welcome to the animal kingdom, animal kingdom. We have adaptations to live in different places. Some live on the land, others live deep in the sea. Let's sing and celebrate our animal diversity. The worms down underground, and the monkeys in the trees. The birds up in the sky, and chameleons on leaves. We all have a place in the animal kingdom! <laughs> I'm so proud of us discovering that Lou is actually a frog! I loved finding out that we all belong to the animal kingdom, even though we all come from different groups. Fish, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. I always knew I was special. <laughs> but what else did our friends help us learn today? Baraka didn't want to help his friends with the laundry. Well, why should he? It's not his clothes. Aha! Uh -huh. But we should all help each other, even if we don't have to. Think of a time you needed help and someone helped you. How did you feel? Huh? Now imagine if everyone helped each other. Wouldn't the world be a great place? We need to help even those we don't know when we see their need, okay? Even if they don't ask for our help, we can offer it. And if they ask for your help, don't refuse as long as you can help them, okay? But if you can't, at least you tried.
friends also need to help each other. Even if they don't ask for our help, we can offer it. And if they ask for your help, don't refuse. As long as you can, help them, okay? And our families. <laughs> Family is so important. And if your sister doesn't know how to use something, you can show her the steps. If your little brother can put his shoes on, you can put them on for him, okay? That's We should all help each other. And if you need help, please, don't be afraid to ask for it. Mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your gali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length and depth and represent with X, Y and Z. Math is useful for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Mathematics,
Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Obongo Kids family.